try and cut it in Australia first thing, go to America. So why did you do it in reverse? We just went where the interest was, I think. We went to where, where people's ears freaked up to our music, you know. We, we, played, we were playing stuff over here that really wasn't the flavour of the month and we were playing sort of kind of hard rock and roll and we just didn't get the interest and then all of a sudden, you know, so sort of people in America started hearing it and hearing demo tapes and a guy came out here and wanted to sign the band up. Well, you guys were going to quit, you were going to sort of end it all then, weren't you? Like, end it all. Had it, yeah. right? jump, <laughs> jump off bridges and stuff and <laughs> give up completely and go skateboard riding. But we, we got this, you know, great interest from these guys in America and they said, you want to come over and make an album? Of course we said yes, because, you know, there wasn't much of a future out here. So, you know, it wasn't like we were turning our back on Australia or anything, we just went where the interest was. What has sort of living there meant for your music? I mean, it's you, you've certainly had more success there. Yes, there. Yeah, it's true. But I, I don't know, it was good because we went over there and did everything that I wanted to do. I wanted to see America. I always wanted to see America because all the great bands have all come out of there and bands that we've loved. And we just went over there and toured over there. And it was just like a dream come true. To... So who, who influences Kings of the Sun? I mean, who's the... We're, se we're 70s children, mate. Right. For, from, the, from the 70s, so... Yeah, he's a hippie, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, but a dirty old, old hippie. Yeah. And you've lost your hair. Yeah. <laughs> now we love, we love um, all, the, all the classic, you know, rock and roll, Chuck Berry, Little Richard, Elvis Presley, uh, Credence, just the Stones, everyone that's ever been great, you know, people hear what they want to hear in our music, but um, we don't try to be like anybody, you know, right. if, if, if you hear an influence, well, it's probably there unintentionally, but, um, uh, what, what about the show, I mean, the Serpentine clip, it was done in a little, sort of sleazy LA, New Orleans, uh, New Orleans, was yeah, it, it was yeah. a new thing in LA, C CD bus, we, we want to, um, we wanted to get that impression, like, when you see that the video starts off, it's like people come in and we, they're sort of looking at us like, who are these guys? That was kind of what it was like when we play over there. No one really knew us right. and we had to win the crowd and that's what we tried to do with the clip. We wanted to show the performance, you know. For you guys, what can we expect after the more, more, uh, we'll just um, the second record, probably a lot more confident. We know where we stand now, and we know we've got a market in Europe and America. And it's good to come back to Australia and realize we haven't been completely shelved like we felt we had all this time, all this time we've been away. Yeah, and like we come back, Jeff and I come back to write the second record and come back to you know our roots and everything, and it's just. It's good to be able to come back and, and actually have people interested in it. We, we didn't even, it's taken us completely by surprise, you know. We weren't anti-Australia for not liking our music because... So you're not because... going to go and do an air supply on us? Huh? No. Yeah. I'm not going to go and move, in, move to America, that's definitely... The only thing I like about America is the supermarkets. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's thousands of different... Faster trolleys. Thousands and thousands of different breakfast cereals that I haven't tried. Cliff and Jeff Hode from Kings of the Sun. Now, they'll be live on the factory in two weeks, but here's their latest single, Black Leather. Ooh.
get me some black leather. 